everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we got Transformers Power of the Primes Autobot Wind Charger. And uh, this figure I came across by really just by accident, honestly. I went to Target looking for my Dinobots because I want the Power of the Prime Dinobots. And this is all that was on the shelf. I messaged T-Man, and I was like, hey, man, do you need this one? He's like, no, but you do. And I was like, do I? He's like, yes. So when T-Man tells you that you need to get a figure, you got to get it. So I ended up picking this bad boy up. It comes in that little packaging. And uh, because, I mean, the legend class are tiny. Got the really cool artwork at the top. Really cool figure through the bubble. Down the back, info. Put the little Vector Prime inside there. Let's go ahead and bust him open. Wind Charger looking all tiny and cute. He's just a little guy. And uh, he does come with directions, a manual, how to transform him. How to also put in the Prime into the vehicle. And he does come with one of those cards. And these are actually a lot thicker than the other cards. They're like a nice thick card stock. Then uh, you get to actually see his Prime Master. Let's go ahead and take a look at Wind Charger himself. I really like what they're doing with these head sculpts um, on these figures. I don't know what else they are. What they're really doing um, differently, but they work. Like I really like them. Nice silver. The eyes are in there. Nice light blue. Looks really clean. Autobot symbol on there. Um, almost, it almost looks like it's a sticker. I'm glad it isn't. I really don't like stickers. They fall off over time. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, head articulation wise, you can look left and right. You know, he can turn technically all the way around. Get some nice arm movement, elbow joints. Hands are sort of stuck there. So same movement on this side. No ab rotation or anything. Legs can do the splits a little bit. Oops, some breaking stuff. He has a really tight knee bend right there. It's really tight. So it's basically it for articulation. I mean, that's what you really get with these legend class, that type of tar articulation. But let's go ahead and transform this guy. So this has to pop out of there. There we go. This looks pretty. Pretty self-explanatory, honestly. I guess these legs. Oh, these gotta roll out. First time actually putting a transformer together, really on camera. Usually, I'll just cut it, but this will be my first time connecting. Got to get these tabs in where they need to be. Questions, where's the head go? Oh, I'm stupid. Shift there. Everything just doesn't want to clip where it needs to clip.
yep this is this is everything just sort of wants to collapse in on itself when you're trying to tab everything in After a little bit of fidgeting, uh, I just wasn't tabbing in the door arms into the side because it's like a peg that you have to tab into. So it was making the arm door seem loose and yeah, teach me to try to put this thing together for the first time on camera. And it's a legend class. <laughs> like Those are supposed to be like super easy, but uh, it doesn't really roll. It could be mainly, I mean, it looks like he rolls. But it could be just because this is like a smooth table. The wheels aren't really rolling. So it's pretty cool though in uh car mode. Nice little muscle car looking car. I mean you get exactly what you what you pay for. <laughs> And I really like that it is a, uh, you know, a tinted, like, plastic for the windshield and stuff. I'd actually get this popped open. I had to, like, lift up on the hood and pop the windshield open. So you just fold this back. I don't have one of the Prime Masters. So I'd get one of the Titan Masters. I'm supposed to sort of just fit him right in there. There you go. Stretch out his legs so you can actually see him sitting in there. Everything just squeeze it and you get it in there, and it's so you can barely see the Titan Master inside because it's so heavily tinted on that plastic, just a dark. Plastic, but it's still cool um, that it, you can sort of see them in there. And I mean, with this type of muscle car, you'd want to have it tinted anyway. And I'm really happy that this is my first Power of the Prime figure. It will not be my last, as I am going to get those Dinobots. And uh, this figure is definitely worth snagging, just like T-Man told me to pick it up. So definitely, if you guys are out there and you see them, don't pass it up. It's not super expensive, and it's a pretty cool figure. And that sums up my Wind Charger Power of the Primes figure review. So if you like what you saw, hit that thumbs up and the like and all that good stuff. And if you uh, want to see more of what I do, just subscribe. And as always, good luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.